final sea day and we have a little hint behind us what we're going to be doing we <laughs> signed up for emerald's cooking class so i believe it's emerald's favorites so we do right. see pasta but other than that we don't know but we get to slap on some aprons and make some food do some cooking and presumably eat the cooking yes but yeah here it is look that's a sneak peek gonna have to cut anything. But here we are going to make two major items. The first one is shrimp and okra gumbo. It's a little spicy <laughs> along yes. with shrimp stock. Okay so this all we grab for this shrimp and okra gumbo with fillet. Again we make one more item that is New Orleans pasta. So far, so good. <laughs> All right, I follow directions so far. You're the cook, so we'll let you do the oil. He said a good amount, right? Good amount? <laughs> That's good. All right. That's... Oh, okay. And you need to saute the okra first. Oh, okay. Please add okra. I'll it. Yes, please. Oh, All of it. All of it? Oh, boy. Oh, is it going to pop at me? Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Okay. You got this. Look at me using a spatula, huh? We need to cook the okra nicely so that slime gets disappeared. Is so that's the reason I told you, this I advise you to add much oil, more oil, so it will cook nicely. More oil. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Okay. You're doing it, Andrea. Huh. I'm stirring. You're stirring. Look at me stir. This is what I do at home. I stir. Ooh, celery. Okay. You have the celery. Please add all of this. Again, we need to saute nicely. And the next step, you need to add. Bailey. Bailey. Please add Bailey Bailey for the flavor. <laughs> then we are going to add tomato paste. Tomato paste. Tomato paste. All of it? Yes, please. Tomato paste. All of it. Again, we need to saute nicely the tomato paste. <laughs> oh, that smells delightful. The next, you need to add green peppers. Green you have a guy's pepper, green. Please add all of this. The green one? Yes, sir. Green peppers. Oh. Yes, exactly. Oh, oh goodness. goodness. We got it. Damn. There you go. Ah! Oh, <laughs> yes. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, goodness. I think it's our heating up. Only add one oh, cup. Oh goodness! Okay. Cup. Oh, that's that's. Oh. After you add shrimp stock, Ooh. one cup. You have remaining half cup, right? Don't add it now. Just keep it aside. And then you need to add cayenne pepper powder. Ooh. 
Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Pepper or no? Add half spoon salt. Yes. Don't add too much in the beginning. Half spoon. Just half of this. Ooh. It smells amazing. It's like smelling good. Mm. Yeah. I'm just glad that green isn't jalapenos. Yeah, it looks good, smells good. We may have to make this if we like it. You have this Emerald's essence. They need to put that on six. Six. Okay. So you have this chicken breast as well and shrimp. So divide it, this half spices add to the chicken and remaining half you need to add to the shrimp. Now you will find there is a sweet roll. We need to saute later on. And obviously, we need to add shrimp. Okay? So please add shrimp. Add all of this. After that, we need to put cover for any cooking. I like this little trick. Yeah, yeah. Take the pasta. Don't break it. Just spread like this. After a few right. moments, it will drop down. Oh, see? Yes. Yeah, don't. I usually break uh, that. Just little yeah. simmer. <laughs> but I'm when not going to break it. it. Yes. That will slow to that. You can add it. Yes. Kevin and Macy, you don't yeah, snap the pasta. Just simmer. It will move. Then you will find there is a tongs with you. Usually, this is a... Pasta, we need to always serve as an al dente. It takes 7 to 8 minutes to properly cook. I'm yes, just yes, going yes. to add heavy cream to the six. mixing bowl. This is a 1 liter of heavy cream. After you take down from the pasta the hot butter, you keep this bowl. The pasta is remain hot. So that internal temperature, your pasta getting more cooked. So I just keep it aside. And in the same time, just I open this jumbo. And you can see, then you need to add scallion. Okay, add all of this. Oh, I think we then need to turn that one you will off. find there is a PA powder. That is a powder from sassafras leaves and this time you need to turn off your capture. Don't open this cover, just keep it in the center. Make sure when you make this sweet cream, you need to really add heavy cream. The heavy cream, the fat percentage should be higher side. So that time you will get rich. Alright, rich creamy texture like this. So please switch on your lower section again in number 4, your left hand side. Mm -hmm. Then add few drops of oil. Please add all of this. We need to saute the chorizo first. And after we saute, we put it back in a same small bowl. Chorizo sausage. This chorizo, it will release oil. Okay, that is the flavor of your pasta. Oh. If you can't take the heat, jump out of the jump. Then, in the same pan, again, we are going to add some more oil. Okay, so please add all the chicken. After the slightly salty chicken, then add shrimp. Then we are going to add this salty chorizo okay, to your pan. Add all of this. Half ladder of 
That's the stuff. Oh boy. It's going to start really... Oh, it smells bad. It smells bad all. <laughs> this looks amazing. Oh yeah. Hmm. Great. James, you eat the tomato sauce and fresh star sauce. All right. We're at the end and we'll do this. and Worcestershire. Gosh, that's mm. Wow. That heavy cream? Heavy cream? Oh, ho. Mm. Man. Mm -hmm. After you have heavy cream, now we need to increase that induction temperature from number four to number six. Then we need to add the pasta. Add your black pasta, please add all of this. And after that, it's time for toss your pasta along the sauce. Are you excited making your emerald meal? This looks fabulous. We're going to have to try this at home. There's no then, doubt. Please add some fresh black pepper for the seasoning. Oh. Cracking it. He's cracking it. And then you need to add scallion. And it's time for final dosing. Perfect. Okay. If your pan is too dry, you are allowed to add a little bit of stock as well. Oh, that looks delightful. Yeah, doesn't it? Now the first stage, we need to taste. Our product is done. I'm gonna do this, it's getting a little hot. Look at you being all and fancy. Finally, you will find there is a small parmesan cheese. Ooh, Ooh so the grater. Get some parmesan cheese on top. Oh, we got a grater too? Okay. Oh, a lot of chorizo. Hello. Very lovely. Wow. Oh, well, look at that. That's a nice grater. Uh, Want a little more? Sure, why not? Then, with the help of the tasting spoon, you can use it to taste it. Nope. I'll you. I always prefer to add less seasoning. Because if it is less, we can always adjust. No, I think it's okay. It's okay? All right. You can just start to smell it. Huh? Don't need that to smell it. only for the flavor. Bam. Oh, he's putting it around there. Yeah. That's the way. And then you can break up your little ball of rice if you want. Very lovely. This is long, too. He's making our lunch on the cruise ship. I'm right now. The taste goes to be nice. I have no idea. Then you will find. All right. <laughs> oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Not looking pretty, but some for yourself. I hope you like right. this cooking our session. Okay? So it's time to have your food. Mm. So please grab your food and taste it. Thank you. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, yeah. And enjoy your day. Alright. So this is the finished product. It all looks wonderful. Ooh. Mm. Very lovely. Okay, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Look at all of you. Thank you.
thank you so much for joining us at Carnival Kitchen. Oh, that's good. Make sure you grab a copy of the recipes we made today so you can make them again at home. Just like nobody does fun like Carnival, nobody does unforgettable flavors like Carnival. Now you can too. And those tasty photos you took, don't forget to share them on social with all your friends. It's okay to make them a little jealous of your amazing crews. Well, I hope to see you again soon. I really like the pasta. Mm -hmm. A little spicy. We put the whole cayenne, so. <laughs> Maybe slightly less cayenne. Yeah. I think I'm out of my comfort zone with some of this. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll save the dessert it's for last, of course, but it looks awesome. Good? Yes. It's cooling the tongue from the, the, the gumbo. <laughs> yeah, that's real good. And then we got cool Ooh. gifts. So, definitely recommend this. <laughs> well, what'd you think? We are now chefs. <laughs> yeah. And supposedly they're gonna email the recipes. We have our little souvenirs. Yeah, that was so cool. It was like an hour and a half if you're wondering how much of your day it takes. So yeah. not bad. So an hour and a half and bam, you're done. Yeah, it was worth it. I, yeah, I liked it, so. Okay, last night at sea, we're gonna go ahead and do sushi. So we made it to our seats, Banzai Sushi. We are going all out. We are going for the sushi ship for two. So that is an upcharge, so it's $32. But we'll show you what it all comes with. It comes with the miso soup, salad, and two rolls, a couple of sushi in there, we'll show you. And then we are also got a side of the tempura shrimp, and we ordered two geisha wines. Ooh. All right. Well, I'm, I'm excited. I know Andrea's excited. Sushi is one of her favorite cuisines. Yes. So, and to have it at sea, even better. All right. First course has arrived. Miso soup. There were vegetables on the bottom. So, oh yeah, a little tofu. This looks exceptional. Andrea, do you like the miso soup? It's too hot to try. <laughs> too hot to try. Well, it smells good though. It does. Ooh, it's got all those tofu pieces. Yeah. It's like loaded with tofu. Oh. Drinks have arrived. We do have, I believe it's called the geisha. Geisha. Geisha? We went through this before. Geisha. <laughs> geisha. All right. Ooh. Cheers. They look lovely. Oh. We're moving a little bit. Those are so good. I don't know if it's like a little, almost like pink lemonade or what, but. I don't know, it tastes very pink, but the ship is a rocking and rolling. So when we left the cabin, it said our apparent wind speed was up to 50 miles an hour, so. Which was the um, combination of our speed. Speed and wind coming at us. 22 knots and then like, what is it, 26 coming yeah. at us. So yeah, it's almost, and it's top 50 when you add them together. The wind is just enough so when you're walking up the steps or walking down the hall, you kind of veer to <laughs> yeah. one side. <laughs> yep. And miso soup. Very good. Me so good. Me so good. <laughs> All right, so a lot of new items this time that we haven't gotten in the past. So shrimp tempura appetizer, or, or small plate they call it. And then the boat. We've never had the, sh uh, the sushi boat for two. So. Sushi ship. Sushi ship. All new things. Except the soup. Okay, so these little guys, very good. Never had them here. And I don't get this much anywhere, but very, very good. Look at this, everybody. The sushi ship for two, and it has two rolls, three sushi each, and then it even has the ginger salad off to the side. So if this doesn't look amazing, I don't know. Look at that. And we get to share it. Mmm, 
maybe. <laughs> bon appetit. We came, we conquered, we almost took care of the whole ship. But this tiny bit left, everything was really good, including the shrimp tempura. And it was kind of perfect size, it wasn't too much, but then we're also not feeling like we need any more, so very good. Yeah, always highly recommend Banzai Sushi. Hello, Kendall. night on board. You can probably hear the wind blowing. It is strong today. So we have apparent winds of like 50 something. So that's winds going against us. So that's apparent wind. So that's the ship going into the wind versus the wind blowing towards us. But we're arriving a little late tomorrow. So a late embarkation, as I said the other day, we had a emergency on board and sadly that person passed. So uh, we did turn around early before Cancun. Uh, so we still will be arriving a little later. So cruise itself was pretty good. And huge thank you to Ava uh, with Carnival just going above and beyond and going out of your way to make sure that this cruise was amazing. And we will see you in a week. So look forward. We are doing a Royal Icon of the Seas inaugural January 27th. So you will probably see one or two videos of Carnival Jubilee. And then you will probably see one or two videos of um, the Icon as we are going to do our best to try to uh, go back and forth because I know everybody wants to see both of those ships. But as always, thanks for coming along. Give us a thumbs up and please leave any comments if you've been on the Jubilee yet or if you're planning on to. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.
and goodbye room. 10 to 57. Bye. Bye, bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Good boy, good boy. Good girl, good girl. Oh. She's not barking. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Uh, Vincent, you're stuck. Vincent, you're steward. Oh. <laughs> you're really dark, though. You're really dark. You're like a shadow. You can't see you. All right. First bite, guys. Seafood shack, too. Deck 7 aft. Well, we'll take a quick peek. It is the Jubilee Theater. Hold on. Walk slower. Oh, it is open. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't even recording. You didn't record anything? I need to resave. Okay, so we are at the Mermaid's Treasure. Um, and on Mardi Gras, no. it was um, no, we're not the Mermaid's Treasure. <laughs> the Golden Mermaid. <laughs> Alright, so Mardi Gras was. Okay. Mardi Gras was the Golden <laughs> Jubilee. Alright, so we are at the Golden Mermaid. Yeah, so we are um, at the Golden Mermaid. to see the show in the theater um my future or hmm, called dear future husband so for a carnival show it was pretty good awesome. okay end oh wait hold on end the b-roll <laughs> right, okay here. everyone when hold on so, that's the verdict. The pretzel bun is soft, so. The pretzel bun. <laughs> All right. The pretzel bun is soft, so. I don't know, it's really good. Havana is subscribing. As we speak. <laughs> Andy, oh, Andy, Andy, you no. dropped your, you dropped your car. It's yours. I'm wearing mine. Why did you my Okay, prime rib has arrived. We get a little bit of potato. Oh, Andy. You can start up with it. It hurts. Prime rib has arrived. So we have apparent winds of like 50 something. So that's winds going against us versus the, the pressure. Pro 
So that's a parent wind, so that's the ship going into the wind versus the wind blowing towards us. Um, 